The holiday season is upon us and I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a blessed and prosperous holiday. Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Join me in the kitchen as I show you step by step on how to do some royal icing with almond paste on this delicious moist black cake this before and i show you guys how to do it but clearly my big hand was obstructing the camera and i didn't realize it until you know um someone had asked me for the recipe so i had to post it so i'm gonna redo this for you guys so you can see better here we have our black cake nice and moist and soaked in the can that i'm gonna ship it out to and this is going to my mommy that's right so i'm gonna put some almond paste on this and some royal icing on it and i'm using the mazipan um you know any brand you can use almond paste for this and royal icing so here i have my um almond paste i'm gonna this unwrap it almond paste is looking like it's a little sticky so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half and measure it out to my pan size and roll it out to that you know squareness so all i all i have to do is just drop it on so top this can of get the, a little um, sticky just grab some powdered sugar toss it down and proceed to roll don't be afraid to use the powdered sugar because if it's stick you're gonna have a whole mess here and i need more so maybe i'll use the whole thing the whole pack combine it back together when i'm looking at the size of the cake i have i need a you know uh, at least a good piece so i'm gonna roll this out and i'm gonna it come out back. i'm using the lid for the pan and i'm cutting it out to that size trimming out the excess don't worry don't discard this we're going to use it back so i'm going to proceed to trim it out and then we're going to place it on I'm top of go ahead cake. and do i'm going to go ahead and place our almond paste right on top of it you don't have to be neat or anything of the sort because you're going to cover this at the top with royal icing so you just want to get it you know placed on top as neatly as you could see perfect if it perfectly so now we're going to prepare our royal icing in my bowl to i have my powdered sugar i'm gonna go in with some meringue meringue powder this is what it's looking like it's the wilton brand you can use any brand you prefer you find at the grocery store so i'm gonna add my meringue powder here and i'm using three and a half tablespoon of that here I'm going to grab some almond essence this and here by whisking it together. I'm going to go in with my almond I'm essence. I'm going to add room temperature water to bring this to the consistency I'm looking for. With this, you want to go a little bit because this could come together very quickly. And you do not want to um, have my too mixture runny. Is a little bit too sure. runny. This is why I said be mindful when you're adding water. I need to like me and pour like, you know like tomorrow so i'm just gonna add gradually add a little bit more um, powdered sugar work it in because i'm trying to use a piping bag and pipe some roses on top but um i am not the greatest when it comes to doing this so we'll see okay we'll see how far we get so i'm gonna add a little bit more of the meringue powder here and everything i'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience so i in a frightened i will get Put the accurate measure in your piping bag you just grab your piping bag you toss your tip in like so then you grab a knife and you run it around like halfway yeah about that a little bit less than halfway right there and you just you know run the knife around it like that and voila it's all cleaned and come out clean and this tip size that i'm using it's 18 inch so i'm gonna grab the bag grab a glass put the bag over like that like so and proceed to fill your icing and sugar it's easier when you do it this way it's easier to you know fill it in grab your spatula and toss it in like so 
it's easier to fill it this way. And when you get it in, what you're gonna do is pull up back the sides. Try not to touch the icing and sugar, not to mess the bag up too much. Again, my big ugly hand is in the, the slide, so you, you will see that. And that's it, it's there. And you're ready for piping. To get it all done, you would just take your hand and push it. Release the air bubbles. Push it. Or you twist hair when you start to pipe. Instead of piping it. roses, I have like a rose tip here, but this powdered sugar mixture that I did is too runny to pipe um, the roses I wanted to do. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe it on and then smooth it out. Like make it smooth at the top and then put a little bit roses or something around the end. Something of the sort, listen. If it's one buddy you guys can come to for advice on piping stuff it's me okay i suck at this someone asked me if there is something i can't do here we go guys finally found the something i can't really do that i'm not perfect at but you know as long as i have that almond paste and a little bit of icing on top me good okay me good so i'm gonna grab a spoon smooth this out and then we're gonna see to do another batch of icing and sugar and put some design or something. I'll figure it out as we go, okay? The um, icing and sugar on top of it without piping. Rose, you just wanna take a, the back of a spoon and smooth it out, you know, to make sure it, it go to the ends and stuff like that. And you cover up the almond paste. If you are selling this, if you are looking at this tutorial to, to ice and cake for sale, <laughs> well, do it better than me, okay? Um, this is just for my sister, my mom, and for me, home use, okay? It's nothing to give to anyone. I am usually a perfectionist when it comes to my stuff, but um, not everything you're going to be perfect at. And playing with design and powder sugar is not my thing, okay? So um, it's looking pretty smooth here. As it settles in, it will get a little bit more smoother, but you can always take a little bit of water at the back of the spoon and smooth it out to your desire, you know, that you're looking for, like how smooth you're looking for it to be. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of water, not a lot at the back of the spoon. It's not even that wet and just lightly glaze it over but it's it's looking okay-ish right yeah if you get one of that for free you're not gonna complain right it's so looking we have good color cakes frosted i am gonna leave in the description box below the measurement to do a pan of eight by eight cake now i'm gonna proceed to make more of this um icing and sugar here to do like a decoration on the cake you don't have to do this step. You can stop at just putting it at the top. You know, if it's for a home use, I just want to go the extra mile and make it a little batch bit. that I'm doing, I am not going to make it so runny like the previous one. You know, I want it a little bit firm. So when I put it and start piping it, the roses or whatever I'm doing is going to hold up. So, you know, the consistency is looking right so far. So I'm gonna keep mix it in, the and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do red, color. maybe red and green. And this red color is so vibrant. I'm just dropping a little bit of food color in and work it in. If it's a little too stiff, you can always add a little bit, a drop, a pinch, okay, of water. So as you can see, I start piping little flowers around the cake, like I mentioned this is certainly not my forte but your girl trying if it, it, it gets very hard at the tip go ahead and clean your tip off so you know it goes down smooth on it but if y'all come over here for piping tips wrong place i am i am just you know trying to show off my little skills that i have 
what little petty skills I have in this. I'm trying to show it off. I'm trying to do nice little flowers around the ends. I'm just putting pressure on the bag, squeezing it and picking it, picking it up back. Hopefully you guys can see the process clear. <laughs> this is just for home use. I'm sure my mommy would like, um, would appreciate the little effort I put into it. So I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the entire cake. Then we're gonna figure out something yeah, for Yeah, y'all don't laugh, okay, don't laugh. Uh, this is ash handiwork right so yeah so this just goes to show that we don't all know everything right and i am not that um person that know to work with icing and royal icing and sugar i'm gonna try my best okay so there you have it <laughs> this is what it's looking like these were supposed to turn out to be leaf but god them look like a um, caterpillar <laughs> You know, guy, we have caterpillar. That's what it look like. But but believe me, this is going to be busting regardless. It's not the um, the look or the shape. It's the taste that matters. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy this. And stay blessed. Stay safe. Happy holidays to everyone. I ain't eat too much black cake and get drunk. I will put in the description box below the link to my black cake recipe. Sending you all my love, thanks, and gratitude. Stay blessed. Stay safe.